You guys are particularly good at uh, covers. The fact that Higher Ground became such a big hit. Did you have to go to Stevie Wonder and say, we're going to do your song? Uh, do you have to get permission from him to cover it on an album? Flea was saying what a good idea it would be to 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 do a heavy metal version of Higher Ground. You know, uh, that was your idea. And you, you were like, because it was in the 80s when there was so much bad heavy metal. And Flea was like, heavy metal can be so rocking you know we we definitely weren't thinking like let's do a really you know ambitious courageous thing you know like for us it was just like sounds like a cool idea let's try it you know yeah. you're Fun. just you're just curious like you know what would happen yeah what what would happen you know I, and this when, is what happened when, oh. <laughs> listen to that bass line flee you show off you listen to that fucking bass line and then the drum kicks in Oh, that's so nice. It's very trippy. Not bad. Did Stevie ever call you guys and say, you know, I like what you did, or you never heard from him? I, I actually saw him not too long ago with a good friend of mine, and, and, and he came over and he said, hey, Stevie, what did you think of that of Chili Peppers? Did you like the way they covered Higher Ground? He goes, I like the publishing checks. <laughs> <laughs> I had a funny experience with him once okay. in a in a hotel lobby in in Detroit. What was that experience? What happened? <laughs> well, it was more like I like someone called me and said a road manager or something said Stevie Wonder's in the lobby of the hotel, and I was so excited because it's my hero. I I right. love Stevie Wonder, one of my greatest heroes. And I I ran down to the lobby to try to say hi to him, thinking maybe he'd talk to me because of the cover and stuff. And he was sitting there, and I walked up to him, and I was like, Stevie, hi, I, I, I'm Flea. I play in the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and you know, I just wanted to say hello. We played in your in your played your cover, and you know, and and I I love you, and and I kind of waited, and I felt awkward, and a minute went by, and I said it again. Well, I just wanted to say hi. I'm Flea, and you know, anyways, uh, you know, your you, you, your music means so much to me, and anyways, have a beautiful day. Or, I, I you know, I didn't know what to do. I was just kidding, yeah. and I thought me, you know. And I kind of, like another minute went by, I got more and more and awkward, and he said nothing, ignored me. And I got ready to walk away, and I was kind of walked away, and he goes, are you one of the members? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm the bass player. And I kind of thought he was like kind of gauging to see if I was full of shit or not, you know. <laughs> he was right. like, oh, oh, okay, uh, hi, would you guys play my fundraiser next month for the <laughs> or something? I can't remember. <laughs> and I was like, you know, however we could be of service, you know, Stevie, I... I um, if we can, and and I can't remember. Then we chatted for a minute or something. But since then, I've met him a number of times, and he's always been really generous of spirit and kind and engaging. 